What's the most important DIY thing you can do around your existing home this winter? Well, it's draft proofing. Even the most well insulated homes aren't completely airtight. Let me show you. This is a thermal camera. It helps visualise hot and cold using infrared technology. Blue means cold, yellow to orange means warm, and red means hot. So if I turn it up to my face, you'll see that my nose is blue, which means it's absolutely freezing. And my hands, well, they're not covered either, and my fingers are blue too. So let's go check out the house and see the gaps. So the heat is on. If I point it at the gap in the door, Look at that. You can see red, which is heat from inside the house escaping, which essentially is your money going out the door. But the good news is it's an easy fix. In our case, we need a door seal to fix the problem. The way it works is this gets fitted to the door and then there's a pin on the side of this and once it closes, you'll see that it drops down to fill the gap. And then when the door opens up again, it just retracts back up. Pretty nifty. Let's get it fitted. There you go, the rubber's gone down. So let's check it with the thermal camera. It was red before. That means the hot air was escaping. Look at that. Now it's blue. That means it's all sealed up. Job done. And Nana's favourite, the old door snake. It's still around and very effective. Now, thermal cameras are a bit of fun, but let's be honest, not everyone is going to have them laying around the house. So what do you do? Well, you can get a candle or an incense stick. Now, you'll see when I hold it up to the window, all the smoke is getting dragged outside. That obviously means this window needs to be sealed. You might think that jobs like this seem small and insignificant, but these are the cold hard facts. For every $100 attributed to heating and cooling, 10 to $25 of that is the cost of leaks in your home. So to me, jobs like this are definitely worth it. Some of the newer gadgets that you can buy over the counter to essentially stop your house from passing wind are things like this. It's an exhaust fan seal. Now, we've all seen a standard exhaust fan. You've probably got one at home. And the way they work is if you go up in the roof, you can sit this over the fan. Now, when you turn it on, the shutters go up. And when you turn it off, they go back down and stop any of that cold air from coming into your house. Now, if you are replacing your exhaust fan, you can get ones that already have them built in and they work exactly the same way. Pretty cool, eh? As I walk through this nice warm room and I get over to this window, I can actually feel that it's cooler. Now, you might say, well, double glazing will fix that. That's quite expensive. So what's the alternative? Curtains, they act as an insulation. And you might love curtains all over again when I tell you that up to 40% of heating and cooling is lost through a bare window. That is massive, up to 40% gone straight out this window, not through gaps, but the actual pane of glass. So I think we should close the curtains and enjoy this nice, cosy room. Let's talk appliances. Fridge, freezers and TVs are big electricity users. Now, we've all been told that leaving our stuff on standby costs money. And with this energy meter, now we can find out how much. So this tells me that we're using 8.1 watts in standby mode. What does that mean in dollar terms? That's approximately $30 a year, and it's not even on. And most people, they have more than one TV in the house. You should try and replace your appliances every 10 years because technology is making them more and more efficient. But here's a tip. Check the seals on your fridge and freezer because if it's not sealing properly, the motor's running overtime to keep it at the correct temperature and you can get your seals replaced. All right, guys, I've got some bad news. You know that small bar fridge in your garage that's keeping the beers cold? Well, it's costing up to $30 a month. And in this case, you've got a large fridge working overtime to keep five beers and a bottle of rosé cold. And that's even more expensive. There's plenty of products out there to make you energy conscious, like this Flexi Spray. It not only shows you the water temperature, but how much water you're using. If that's not enough to make you think about water consumption, well, I don't know what will. 